Dr. Baum, be seated. Will you excuse us for a few moments, Dr. Topaz? Ah! So you are Dr. Topaz, eh? Let me have a look at you, you scientific Judas. Baum, you're drunk. Whiskers and all, eh? Perfect. Oh, who is he? I tell you who I am. I am an honest man. Come to send a pack of you to... Ch oh. Sit down. Baron, is he... Uh, shall we send for the police? <laughs> Listen who's talking about the police, you swindler. You must deal with him, Philippe. He's going to expose us. Be quiet, Henri. Sit down. Dr. Topaz, this is my affair. I demand you leave. Oh, no, sir. I wouldn't leave you at such a moment. Dr. Baum, state your case. Baron, I'll be brief. 100,000 francs in cash, or I expose you dishwater. Well, what dishwater? This. This plague-ridden concoction, you swindler! Is he mad? Gentlemen, please be seated. May I trouble you, Henri? File 3, draw 12. Your visit, Dr. Baum, is not entirely unexpected. So you'd like a hundred thousand francs uh, for your goodwill? Yes. And here, my foolish fellow, are what in melodrama are known as the papers. I am in no mood for jokes. Allow me. It is my turn to be objectionable. In 1924, a certain Emile Winkleman was employed as superintendent of the charity hospital at Marseille. A short, squat, peculiar-looking fellow with what is known as an Assyrian beard. Are you listening, Dr. Baum? Don't go. I'll be brief. We skip to page eight. And we find, December the 4th, 1925, this same Emile Winkleman, beard and all, vanishes from the charity hospital and with him a magnificent sum of money belonging to the state. There's a great hue and cry, but Emile is never seen or heard of again. However, on September the 22nd, 1927, there arrives in Paris a short, squat, but smooth-shaven fellow with a pigmentary mole on his right cheek who soon finds employment as a chemist, and under the name of... So you intend to blackmail me, eh? With the greatest of reluctance and only in self-defense. Baron, you're the most impotent scoundrel I've ever known. Dr. Baum, I'm impervious to flattery. As for you, you sentimonious swindler! Enjoy your ill-gotten gains while on your sin! But the world knows what you are, a fake, a thief. Topaz is a thief. Put that in your sign. Topaz is a thief. Topaz is a thief.
One moment, sir. Pardon me. Bon, nom de Dieu, qu'est-ce qu'il m'a foutu, là Je vais me taper la police, là, hein Oh, sale is shining, birds are twittering, almost like a day in May. Where is he? Did you find out anything? Nothing. But he'll come back. Uh, did you sleep well? Philippe, something has happened to him. My dear, you're carrying on like an ingenue. I assure you, nothing's happened to him. There's a special providence that looks after simpletons. Oh, you make me sick. Hey, darling, I'm sorry. Philippe! Hmm? Philippe, we must find Topaz. I kept thinking all night of that look in his eyes when he left. Now, what sort of nonsense is this? Why, I swear you're crying. I never heard of such a thing. Why, darling? No, no, don't touch me. I can't. Not with him lying dead somewhere, surrounded by cats. Cats? Good morning, sir. August, you're hurt. Oh, you poor man, where have you been? Look at the mud. Look at your clothes. Topaz, you're behaving like a child. Take that absurd expression off your face and sit down. I came back to pay for my crime. Oh, August, don't be silly. You've done nothing. Nothing? It would be a little difficult to believe in my innocence. I don't believe in it myself. They will say, nobody could be as great a fool as, as Topaz. It uh, would be straining the credulity of the court. What court? The court before which we must stand and be convicted for what we are, thieves. Dr. Topaz. Who? Quite a delegation, sir. Some are in uniform. The police. Tell them. Tell them I'm ready. Just a moment. I'll see them. Oh! Here we are. Ah, honey. Bonjour, mon Bonjour, colonel. Monsieur, monsieur. Colonel. So you came back to share our fate? Yes. You silly creature. You're so foolish, you make me ashamed. Well, my fine criminal, are you ready for the police? I am. Gentlemen. Professor Auguste Topaz, the representatives of the Republic. 